Hello everybody, Andrea Maeska here with Dental Well Tutoring. So I have been having a lot of um, comments lately from my um, YouTube watchers, which is awesome. And one of them was to offer some more tips for new um, dental, hyg um, dental hygienists and new dental assistants. So I'll start with new dental hygienists first because um, I became a temp about six months ago and when I work in a new office, I kind of feel like I'm a newbie, you know. I feel like I'm a newbie all over again um, because you're not used to the office, you're not used to the, to the um, staff, you're not used to the instruments, um, the rooms, the patients, the x-ray equipment, you know, so I could go on and on. So what I find helps me um, is to be as organized as possible. So especially for a new hygienist, you're thinking of so many things, right? You're thinking about how to clean the teeth properly. You might even still be thinking about, okay, which instruments do I use for which teeth? You, you could be thinking, okay, there's a lot of stain here. Where do I begin? How, how do I, you know, how do I start? Um, but the best thing to do, I find, is to stay as organized as possible because what makes matters worse is if you're behind. Then you get a little bit anxious, you get a little bit um, uh, stressed out. The patients might be a little bit annoyed with you because you're behind. At least I find that that's what happens to me is even I've been practicing now for 13 years. But if I'm behind, I get annoyed at myself. I get stressed um, and just things sort of happen where, oh, I've been taking x-rays for 13 years, but here I'm half an hour behind. I go to take some bite wings and they look horrible, you know, so things just happen. So um, stay organized. So the best tip that I can give you for a newbie is to have your trays set up um, as many as you can, depending on the office. One office where I work in, we have four trays. So I am able to set up four trays at a time. So by tray setup, I mean having your instrument um, cassettes, having your floss on there, having um, gauze, having your profi um, handpiece with the profi cup already attached, having the polish that you plan to use, and I'm just thinking of the tray set up in, in my head, and anything else you think you need. So for that patient, if you think you need um, um, a fluoride tray, a fluoride um, varnish, a, a fluoride, you know, something, then put that on the tray too. Um, but other than that, yeah, I think that's all I can think of. Um, and I like to put the chart on front of the um, on front of the tray too. So that just helps me stay organized. So then that way I'm not looking for the chart when the patient's there. Um, now, depending on the office, if you have cassettes, so if you have the instrument in your cassettes, or if you have the instruments wrapped, um, depending on how the office is set up, I if it's a cassette, I might even open up the cassette and rearrange my instruments and then put the bib over top so that when the patient comes in, it's still, you know, covered. But you might not be allowed to do that in the office because technically you're supposed to open up the instruments in front of the patient. So it just kind of depends on how you want to do things. Um, offices where I have the instruments wrapped um, or sorry, um, in a sterilization pouch, I will open it up, but still have them in the pouch and put the bib over top. And then when the patient comes in, I will um, empty out the instruments from the pouch so that they can see that they were um, sterilized. But I find being organized helps a lot. So that's the first thing that you should try to do. Because if you think about it, even if you're only 10 minutes behind, it takes time um, to go back to a certain area to get your tray, um, to get your um, profi cup, to get the handpiece, to get this, to get that. And then you might come back to your room and then go, whoops, I forgot gauze or whoops, I forgot the floss. I kind of need that, right? And then you have to leave the room or if you're in the middle of seeing a patient and you're kind of like, oh, I forgot the floss. You have to take off the gloves, open up the cupboard, you have to get the floss, things like that. Um, if you have over gloves, you have to put the, the um, over gloves on to get the floss, you know, it just, it takes time. It may not seem like it takes time, but you were 10 minutes behind and now you're another 10 minutes behind because you have to do all of the extras and that leaves you now 20 minutes behind. So that's what I like to do is to just have everything organized first as much as possible. 
Um, and that really, really helps me. So I think I got a little bit off track here talking about other things about temping. So sorry about that. But I do hope that this did help a little bit. Um, feel free to leave a comment and feel free to leave tips too if you have any other tips for a newbie how to sort of help things run a little bit more smoothly. So good luck and let me know how things are. And I do hope that this helped. Thank you so much for watching.